Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Lush haul for you. Now I was waiting and waiting and waiting to make this order because I heard a few weeks ago that the product that I really wanted was coming back into the kitchen and I was just like, <gasps> so I got up super early, placed the order and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And of course I've been working this week so I haven't had the chance to upload this until now but it's a bit of a big order, I'm not going to lie. So this is what I have for you. We'll start off with the Lush Kitchen products. I also have some Lush Oxford Street exclusives. I've got some samples. Oh, it's brilliant. Such a nice order. So first things first. This is why I placed the order. Um, I wanted to get one of these. Now, if you haven't already guessed, um, this is the Sunflower Bubble Bar. Let me just open one up for you. Okay, so as you can see, the Sunflower Bubble Bar is massive. It's one of the biggest bubble bars that Lush have ever done. Um, it's absolutely huge and it smells like a fresh glass of orange. It's beautiful, really, really nice and citrusy, really lovely for summer and um, when it's very warm in the evening, it's very, very refreshing. Um, now you can probably get four baths out of this if you really wanted to um, it's got some beautiful beautiful sunflower petals um, in the middle and some lovely lust around the outside as well um, pop it down. They're, um, they've just been made so they're a little bit fresh in the sense that they're a bit crumbly and so I may not use them straight away because oh um, because I don't want them to I want them to last as long as possible really um, but yeah, so really lovely, beautiful sunflower bubble bar. bar. Um, I did get two, I'm not going to lie, because they are huge um, and really good value for money. So that was one of the reasons why I got the order. I also got from the Lush Kitchen this beauty. Now this is the Deep Forest Atmosphere Bath Bomb. Um, now this one has a green sort of foresty scent. Um, that helps you relax, filled with patchouli and bergamot. Um, now to me, I'll tell you what this smells like. The fact that they say forest makes you think about that sort of earthy kind of scent. Now, it reminds me of being in the woods when it's raining and you get the sort of wet leaves on the ground and you kind of get that scent that comes up from the moisture on a warm day. Um, so it's kind of like an earthy, musky kind of woodland scent. It's quite, it's quite got a depth to it. Um, so I'm very excited to try this one in the bath. Um, I think it would be quite nice with like a bath oil, maybe this one. Kind of, kind of bring it up a little bit if you um, find it too musky, but Mm, yeah, I really like that. That would be a nice one to try. Okay, so I did also order some soap. Um, I got some Honey I Shrunk the Kids soap. Now, the reason I got this is because if you've watched any of my other videos, I got the Scrubby Bee Body, body Butter Bar Scrubby thing that they've released that looked like a bee a couple of weeks ago um, from Easter or Valentine's, one of the two. Um, I absolutely have fallen in love with this scent. It's just absolutely like sweet and really yummy. And I just basically wanted this so I could smell it because when my, when my scrubby bee has gone, I have to wait till Christmas to get the shoot for the stars bath bombs. So until then, I have some Honey I Shrunk Kids soap to sniff. I'm weird, I know. Um, okay, so what else did I get? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, this is really melty. Um, I haven't tried this one and because my scrubby bee is about to run out, I wanted something that was kind of buttery but still sort of um, moisturising at the same time. So I got a little buffy. Um, I was going to say this, I've actually got written down what it's meant to smell like. So this has got... Oh my god, it's melting in my hands. It's so warm today. Yes, this has got cocoa butter, shea butter. It's got um, lots of lemon oil and a little bit of lavender. 
um, some other oils and nuts and stuff and it is the slippery slidiest thing in the world so I'm just going to put it back down wow that is going to be so moisturizing okay so next actually i have another lush kitchen item bear with me now i even forgot i got this one so this is the sicilian bath bomb um very much looks like the um other bath bomb from the lush kitchen they don't tend to vary them up very much but oh blimey wow i love that that is really really summery it's very zesty and zingy and lemony and i can see it's got some sort of candula i think they're candula flowers coming out of them so yes very lemony and zesty um and it's just really really nice um i really like that fragrance actually so i think i'm really going to enjoy that one in the bath Okay, what do we have next? Oh, so this is quite a fun one. This is the yellow submarine bath bomb. Isn't it cute? This is just like, just reminds me of my childhood of playing with toys in the bath. Um, now this one, this one has quite a soft fragrance. It's not a particularly particularly strong scent at all um, it's quite kind of just nice it's quite nice um, so this one has Brazilian orange oil coriander seed and lemongrass um, and more than anything I can think I can smell the lemongrass it's not like I said, it's not a very strong, potent smell um, like some of the other bath bombs. It's quite soft um, and dusty. <laughs> but very, very cute. Um, yeah, it just reminds me of bath times when I was little. Um, so yeah, really cute and fun. And that one is an Oxford Street exclusive. Okay, so next we have Think Pink. Now Think Pink is to me a new bath bomb, but I think it was out before and they've redone it, they've jazzed it up, they've changed it um, to look like this amazing, beautiful silk, crushed silk bath bomb that smells really, really nice. <laughs> oh wow. I can't think what it actually smells like. It definitely smells like another lush scent, but I'm not sure which one it is. So if you know, like leave a comment below so everyone else knows. Um, but it's beautiful. It feels quite light. I feel like there's gonna be something, some embeds in there. Actually, I think I can hear some embeds just moving around slightly um, or petals or something inside it. Um, but wow, it smells lovely. Hang on, let me get my sheet and it tells you what it's inside it so this one has lavender oil tonka I can definitely smell the tonka uh, vanilla neroli yeah that's it lavender tonka vanilla and neroli well that is a beautiful beautiful bath bomb um, I'm very excited to try that one definitely one for a demo Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at the luster! Yeah. I'm just going to be covered in bath bomb dust by the end of this video. Is the Guardians of the Forest. So yeah, as I was saying before my camera just ran out of battery, the Guardians of the Forest bath bomb is beautiful. This is actually one of the first bath bombs from Lush I ever got to use. Um, now it's filled with lustre and leaves your bath a beautiful green colour. So it's actually just really beautiful. Um, now this is also meant to smell like the forest um, and it's slightly more... I would say... How can I describe it? It's a slightly more kind of complete scent. You don't kind of just get that sort of, you know, feels like the grass beneath, smells like grass, smells like this, smells like that. It's a very kind of 
atmospheric scent, should I say. Um, it's very, very, very quite strong, is what I would say. It's a very strong scent. Um, it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, this one is also now a Oxford Street exclusive and has in it uh, lime, rosewood, cypress oil, oak moss, uh, uh, yeah, and that's it. Um, and lots of luster. Three different types of luster, green and green and yellow. So it's gonna make your bath look beautiful. Um, I really enjoyed it the first time round and I wanted to share my enjoyment of this bath bomb with you guys and do a demo on it, um, which is why I got it. So um, expect that very soon. Um, oh, yeah, it's really, really, really nice. So that was all the main items that I got in this Lush haul. But as you know, or you may not know, when you do an order online, you can go down to the drop box when you're typing in all your details and you can request some samples. Now, I obviously did that. You can't say no to some Lush samples now, can you? Um, so let me share with you my samples that I got for free. Okay, so here are all my samples that I got for free. And considering how expensive Lush is, the fact that you get this as like a little treat is really really nice um so the first thing i got was some more honey i washed the kids soap which is quite funny since it was in my order anyway um so it's just like a little bit extra free which is fab um really nice to put like the little soap samples in like a guest bathroom or something like that um, i also got some miranda soap which i'd never smelt before and i really really like um i need to look up the fragrance of what that is because i don't actually know but if you know leave it in the comment box below. I got some Angels on Bare Skin. Now that is a cleanser, um, but it's not like a normal cleanser. Um, let me show you the consistency. Um, it's not really my kind of cup of tea. Um, it's like OT grassy, like OT muddy kind of mushed up mush kind of thing. Um, and I don't really like the texture. I've tried it before in a sample um, and it's not something that I really, really enjoyed. So, yeah, not really bothered by that one. Um, I also got some 9 to 5 cleanser, which um, I really wanted to try actually. And I also got some Jasmine and Henna Fluff Ease Hair Treatment. Now this comes in a huge pot and you get a lovely lovely sample of it um so that's going to make a really nice treatment for my hair because you know how much i love my hair products so that was everything from this lush haul um and if any of you know how much i love 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 um flying fox there will probably be another lush haul coming very soon if you've seen what's happening in the lush kitchen next week I'm so excited for Friday. Anyway, guys, I have got a few more videos to film today, so I will catch you all later. And watch out for um, some of these video uh, products to be demoed. If you have a product that you see today that you want me to demo first before others, please let me know and I will upload that first for you. Okay, guys, have a nice afternoon. Bye.